Hello kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Today I'm going to show you how to increase and decrease the RPM on most Briggs and Stratton, the newer plastic style engines with the plastic gas tank and the plastic carburetor. It doesn't matter if the carburetor has the primer bulb or if it's the automatic choke as this TB110 represents the Troy built has an automatic choke. So this is just to show you where the uh, adjustment tab is. I'll bring you over to a running machine and show you how to do it with the machine running. I'm just showing you this so you know the location of the tab you need to adjust. So I have the uh, recoil cover off this TB110, remove the tank which just sits on top of the recoil here. Your adjustment for the RPM is underneath the gas tank or behind the gas tank. You see the spring here, it's attached to a metal tab with a hole in it to receive the spring. The front of the engine is here, or forward, so forward here would increase the RPMs to the front of the engine. Decreasing the RPMs go to the rear of the engine. And um, this tab here is movable, and that's how you adjust the RPMs. These newer style plastic carburetors have no idle screws or mixture screws. They're all set. There's nothing here to adjust. The only adjustment you have is the um, RPM tab back here under the tank. There's no screws or any adjustments in any part of this plastic carburetor. Let me show you some other examples of the uh, Briggs and Stratton newer plastic engine. I call them plastic because the carburetor is all plastic. The uh, recoil housing is plastic and the gas tank is plastic. Here's a Craftsman 110 similar to the Troy built. Doesn't matter what the beauty ring says, they're all Briggs and Stratton engines. This one here also has the automatic choke, no primer bulb. So let me move this Craftsman out of the way. What we're actually going to adjust is this Hyper Tough with another Briggs and Stratton engine. This is a 2016. So what you want to do is feel behind the gas tank. You can feel that arm, the vertical arm with the spring on it. Put your fingers back here without the machine running so you know where to put your fingers. You want to put your fingers at the top of the tab and bend at the top. So I got my fingers on it. I know where it is. I'm going to start the unit. I have a large plastic clip on the handle here to hold the safety brake cable down because I'm going to need to get to the side of the engine to make the adjustment. You can use a piece of wire, string, whatever you need to do to tie the safety brake bar down. Remember forward increases, you're moving forward, push the bar to the front of the engine to increase, decreases to the rear, backwards.
So you obviously don't want any loose clothing and keep your hands away from the bottom of the machine, of course. You don't want to lose any toes, fingers, ears, etc., etc. So you could hear the RPMs increase as I push the top of the lever forward, decrease to the rear. I think I set it up at a good RPM for this four and a half horsepower. I just do it by sound. Let's uh, start it again. Somebody had asked me how to adjust it on one about on one of my other videos, so I had these units nearby. I thought I'd do a quick video. So this is the tab that I had my hand on. Forward increases, pushing it back, decreases. That's your only RPM adjustment on these newer style. Briggs engines. Doesn't matter what the beauty ring says, if it's a Craftsman, Murray, Troy built, whatever, hyper tough, they're all going to be the same. Automatic choke, priming unit, anything that resembles this is going to have that metal tab to make your adjustment. Hope this helps. Appreciate you coming out, checking out this short video. I got to get back to work. You guys have a good day today. Like and subscribe. Appreciate all my new subscribers. Have a great day today.